Last week I went to a sex shop for the first time in my life. I am near 80 years old and as soon as I walked in the door I wondered what the hell I was doing in there. I had never considered going into a place like this before as I was pretty sure that I would be struck down by lightning as soon as I entered. But my friend, a female by the way, suggested that I should go strictly for research purposes. Research? Research for what? But I will tell you, I had no idea they had so many things. Aids, toys, and even furniture. This completely threw me. I had been used to either the bed or the front room floor. It truly was amazing. And I didn't get hit by lightning, nor did the community shun me. And uh, the woman that smiled at me when I walked in was very respectful even though I detected a faint smile as she noted my wrinkles, but she was fully closed. This certainly wasn't one of those dirty sex shops. This one was well lit, had no noticeable back room where men in trench coats hung out, and it did have a lot of how-to books. Geez, I thought, what is this world coming to when you need that many how-to books about sex? But I picked one up and thought, Hmm. <laughs> Maybe if I had known this years ago, I could have made my wife much happier with my performance. But after looking over the full range of products, I didn't buy a thing. I could well imagine the look on my wife's face if I walked in with some big piece of furniture that was designed solely for her pleasure. She would have flipped. Where would we put it? And we didn't have room, and the colors would clash with our old furniture. And what would the grandkids say when they came for dinner? Gram and Grandpa don't do that anymore. Besides, that would mean we would have to talk about sex. And well, I don't think I know where to begin. <laughs>